All right, and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and also on YouTube if you're watching this later. Um, for our next deck, which is going to be Golgari Graveyard. I've uh, been talking about this deck some off off uh, re YouTube recording, I guess. Um, but the main thing is I'm not playing uh, the real expensive cards. Cards like Izoni, um, Lotleth Giant, cards like that that are really good uh, in the late game whenever you have like your engine going, whenever you have a whole lot of things in the graveyard. Last time I played this deck, we had three Find Finalities, two Izonis, um, and there was just so many games where I wasn't doing things, like where I was just playing some lands um, and just kind of not not doing things with the first few turns. Um, and our deck had two Play Crafters, um, and it had a Crowl Foragers. It didn't, and it didn't have any Branch Walkers or Jade Lights, and so um, that was the thing that I was think that we were missing before. We just got ran over by like other aggro decks. Um, and I wanted just more things to be doing the first couple turns of the game, um, and trying to get ahead. Cause like these, a lot of these cards are like cards that are better whenever you're ahead and late game, I think our Memorial to Folly and Mulder Hulk, uh, combo is good enough to take over. I don't think that we need to necessarily play, uh, other cards, uh, that are good in those slots as well. Um, so I, I trimmed a land as well, went down to 22 lands. Since Branch Walker and Jade Light also help with lands, same with Glowspore Shaman, uh, and Mulder Hole can help with lands as well. Um, and so I just don't want to fill my deck with cards that cost six and seven mana and stuff like that. Um, and our sideboard, uh, since we have the Branch Walkers and Jade Lights, I have the Wild Growths as well, because, you know, again, we struggled against aggro last time, and so I want, want these against aggro. Uh, my last cut for my sideboard was the fourth Wild Growth Walker. I really wanted to play a fourth Walker, and I mean, I wanted a third Harpooner as well. Um, I have like the, the trophy in these Rex Ages, uh, you know, got to have stuff against like the Nexus decks, of course. Um, Liliana is like my card against like Esper control to kind of keep, keep getting some gas. Um, I think Liliana is awesome with Mulder Hulk. I think it's, it's just really, it's really good with Mulder Hulk. We don't, we're not playing like tons of zombies. Uh, the minus two, I'm not, you know, we're just never going to be doing the minus two. It's only the plus one and the minus three. Um, the plus one can hit Midnight Reaper, Stitcher Supplier, and Mulder Hulk. So we have 11 zombies in our deck um, there. And Ritual Sit against other aggro decks like Mono White in particular. So here we go. Golgari Graveyard. Nullhide Ferox? Yeah, I could see Nullhide Ferox being pretty good for the list. That's a that's a that's a pretty interesting one, Null Height Ferox. I didn't really think about Null Height Ferox. I've been kind of unimpressed with with um, Crow Foragers, the Undergrowth Healer. All right, cool. Thanks, Way. Good turn two play here. So turn one opt could be a lot of different decks. Could be mono blue. Could be uh, Simic Nexus. Could be Is it Drakes. It's looking a little more like mono blue now. Um. I can get Chupacabra back with Fine Finality. It's a good card, though. I think this is Mono Blue, and I am not attacking with Priest of the Forgotten Gods uh, into a, a Trickster, so I'm not going to be attacking this turn. But if our opponent 
doesn't do anything. What am I doing next turn? I guess I have this Jade Light Ranger that would be a 4-3, keeping this on top that I just get to attack with. Let's keep it. So yeah, I really like the Jade Light Ranger being a 4-3. We'll see if they have like an Essence Capture. Dive down. I guess I could attack. So, yeah, I guess I'm still not attacking now into... I guess I should attack with the Jade Light first. Really hoping my opponent didn't have that. So now I'm gonna have to. I'm not gonna be able to cast Fine Finality now. Have to activate Priest during combat here, and so I don't get to Fine Finality with the extra mana. I don't get to do anything with the extra mana. It's unfortunate, but at least we got to dive down out of their hand, I suppose. Thanks, Wagner. Um, all right, see if they can still have creatures. Looks like they do. Was there to refill in a toothbrush? Um, it's they get you a new, you get a new tube of toothpaste and a new brush head because you you should be replacing your brush head every three months. Uh, same with the tube, the tube of toothpaste. You get you get both of those to to refill. Yeah, find find gets us play crafter and chupacabra. That's pretty good. Yeah, I got you. I got you, J Jack. Mm. 
Okay, so yeah, sacking these. I'm not going to cast Find Finality here because it, it kind of walks us into Spell Pierce. I'm just going to put the Gutter Bones back in my hand. And replay it. I couldn't play Mol Molder Hulk yet. All right, I mean, I guess I could have that. You're right, I could have played Molder Hulk there. Um, we don't have any lands to get back with Molder Hulk right now. Um... I kind of so that's the thing. Like we get to just be patient. Like we're like with priest out. Like you know, like we're just like this control deck. We just get to be patient. We don't have to slam Molder Hulks right away. I I wanted to activate the Memorial to Folly before Molder Hulking. My plan for that turn was to cast. I was going to coin. My plan for that turn was probably to cast Find. Um. First and then, uh, Folly after that. I honestly like just getting the gutter runs back and playing it over playing the Molder Hulk. I don't know. We get to just just basically play everything else and you know run them out of counter spells and everything and yeah. Ooh, look at these beautiful harpooners. Yeah, let's get these harpooners in here and these ritual of sets. Um, trophy. What are we taking out? Are we just taking out Midnight Reapers? Or do I want Midnight Reapers for that? Do I want that card draw? Yeah, Dress is also good, but I think we want to just kind of stay with the creatures. <clears throat> Maybe cut two Choops and three Midnight Reapers. Um, that sounds good. Glowspore Shaman and Stitcher Supply aren't amazing. Ah, I just realized we're running out of time. I gotta go. Yeah, I kind of wanted to go with the, the two Midnight Reapers. I was considering cutting um, a Glowspore Shaman. Since, uh, since we brought in other twos, like Harpooner and, and stuff like that. Uh... I think I, I was thinking about putting back in one Midnight Reaper and cutting a Shaman, but uh, then I realized that we had like one or two seconds left before it went away, and I just had to uh, had to click OK. And so, splashing blue for Moldratha and this costs too much mana. Yeah, like, and it also just the mana is already really tough in our deck with you know like you know wanting like early like our like the black and green sources and everything, and I just don't think we can afford a third color either. Um, let's go branch, branchy. Yeah, I like I, I like the Ferox idea. I think that's a a reasonable idea for sure. Um. Just gotta kill that thing. I know we give him the extra mana and everything, but just gotta kill that thing. Um, yeah, too many tabs up.
All right, making a Mardu. Angels thumbnail. That's annoying. Just want Chubacabra the Miss Cloak Herald. They do know about this Chubacabra. I could cast I could just cast Jade Light. Um I'm not I'm not interested in any one of five plus mana card at all. Any card that costs five or more, one of, I'm not interested. Um yeah, let's 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 go JR. Yeah, like JR kind of setting us trying to set us up. Well then. <laughs> they they stole the branch walker with entrancing melody. They stole our our branch walker. going on over there. A manipulation of the mind. There is always an answer. I haven't seen too many Jace Cunning Castaways in play, so that's kind of some new voice lines that I haven't really heard too much. Alright, let's finish this thing out. This is why I went down to 22 lands. I think I'm just attacking them and trying to be a little aggressive. Why would they block the gutter bones? If you're gonna block something. Why the gutter? I guess. Oh, I guess they're they don't want me to folly back Jade Light or Chupacabra. I suppose. I guess that's reasonable. All right, almost done here. Are you? Decisions, decisions, decisions. That's a good point. That the priest also gives us reach with like the draining that them as well. So the tick up is they draw a card, discard a card, right? Yeah. So at five loyalty, they can make two Jaces. 
They can ultimate this Jace and make make two of them. <laughs> we may lose to Jace. It's possible. Pretty nice milling over a gutter bones that you just get to put back in your hand. Stop bouncing my priest. Oh, hey, King Toll, welcome back from dinner. Yeah, we got some Golgari graveyard action going on right now. And just because it isn't real doesn't mean it won't kill you. It's how you play the hand you're dealt. Let's try this. So here's their, their two tokens. That looks pretty cool. That does look pretty cool. I don't think I've ever se seen the uh, the two Jace tokens there before. Oh, I'm kind of in the way a little bit on the, the camera there. Hmm. So I can get back to Chupacabra and Chupacabra the and play Chupacabra if it resolves we win. I think I have Trickster, I guess. So like do I attacking open priest of the forgotten gods works this time um opponents at four or, I mean they're at three and we're attacking with a four three um, and that's game. Yeah, it's hard to generate tokens when you can loot some more. We're at three. That's a four three. We could probably take it. Okay, want to know? Ugh. Ugh. I guess I'm. I guess this is a keep. There's only 17 more lands in the deck. Gates. Gates. 16 more lands in the deck. 16 out of 52.
And Playcrafter is actually probably not that bad in this matchup. But the thing is, is like if I keep the Playcrafter, I may not have anything to do like next turn. I can get it back. Everything went horrible for us. We drew two more lands. And our opponent had something for us to play crafter. <laughs> yeah, I mean, obviously should have kept it now. Our opponent could have could easily had, you know, Gates of Blaze or Guild Summit or whatever else, like the next turn also. And it's back. Just got time locked. Their four color with a black. Bleh. Five color. All these lands. Our 22 land deck. We've seen 10 lands. We've seen almost half the lands in our deck in 16 cards. <laughs> this has just kind of been what's going on today for us. How today's been. Alright, this should mill over some more creatures. We had to hit at least one creature to get Molder Hulk. Alright, there we go. Um, do I want the do I want to draw Folly next turn? I think I just decline. They better not have disdain for the They're sitting there looking at their hand. Swamp's a better card to play here, but I'm playing the forest because our opponent knows about the forest. You know, like they're both the forests were um, shown because of Jade Light. Yeah, please whiff with millions of cards in hand. Maybe they just maybe they can't deal with this nine power that we have. Dang, they they got there. Oh yeah, folly with yeah folly Molder Hulk's a combo. That's our that's our combo. It's really good against Gates of Blaze. You know, they don't exile Molder Hulk. They just want to just keep Gates of Blazing the Molder Hulks. Yeah, or that. All right, one mana away from replaying Molder Hulk this turn. I guess, I guess it would actually be two, because taking that out, we'd only have six cards. Or 
Are they going and getting Unmoored Ego from Molder Hulk? I could see that happening. Alright, one, that card, whatever that card is, doesn't need that cool animation. Whatever this crappy card is. This random card that hoses me. I guess Folly doesn't actually do anything. We still draw on lands. Thought all of our lands are gone. So they can discard three cards to keep the Neza Hall alive. I don't know if I can. Maybe I just can't beat Gates of Blaze anyway. I wanted to save that, like, because, you know, I thought there may be Gates of Blazing there, and they, they didn't Gates of Blaze, though, so. It's going to be kind of hard for us to beat Gates of Blaze anyway. I wouldn't say that Gravestone hoses Soul Tie. It stops Find Finality. It stops one card in their deck. A lot of Soul Tie people aren't even playing Memorial to Folly or maybe one copy of Memorial to Folly. Hey, Bofe. Yeah, it's just during the day. It's just a lot of light coming through the, the window during the day. I mean, I could... I could Put up something behind me and it would block that light out. I don't know, it's weird. Duresses. And then Rex Age for Guild Summit. Same with Assassin's Trophy. You gotta be able to kill the Guild Summit. Um, I'm gonna take out Find Finality. They're probably gonna have Silent Gravestone. Maybe take out Stitcher Supplier, then also. There's a game you want to play, but you don't know how since the game is new. It's hard to find games. I don't, I don't know how I can help with that. I think, we, I think we're going to be able to make Molder Hulk cheaper pretty well with other stuff. Our creatures are dying a ton in this matchup, you know, like with Gates of Blaze and stuff like that. I think we'll be okay uh, in that scenario.
I'm gonna trim two priests. I know priest is, you know, good at killing creatures, but again, they have just have like a lot of sweepers and stuff, and having the extra creatures is just not very reliable. I'm gonna trim two priests. I don't think I want Liliana. Wait, Liliana doesn't target, does it? It's just you get to cast the cards. Hey! Thanks, Matthew. Thanks for getting the, the Twitch Prime sub in here. You're right. We just need a little, little hype to turn around some of our luck here. That's what we need. We need some sub luck. There you go. Thank you, Matthew. Okay, let's get Midnight Reaper in play immediately. There we go. J Jack, is it is it okay to play your deck tomorrow? Cause I I'm a got a full list of decks for today. Um. And if so, do you have like a, a time slot you'd want me to do tomorrow? <laughs> that Hawkeye emote's so good. Let's see. Jade Light. Trophy's probably fine. No, I haven't really found a reasonable shell for Under Elm Lich. We've we played it to a little bit of success in like just kind of like regular Golgari mid range last format. From J Jack had some donation decks with it, um, and just you know like nothing special, just regular Golgari uh, for the most part. It was good with uh, the spider, um, also. Hmm. Man, I want to play Chupacabra and Rexage, but I can't do both of those. I could Rexage and Trophy. So I could Rexage this Guild Summit and then Trophy the Ram. Hey, Coffee Master with the Tier Three sub. Why that not? Why that notification not come up? I right, upgraded. Thank you so much, Coffee Master. Let's see if I have... Hmm. Here, I have this notification from yesterday. There we go. Coffee Master with the upgrade. So be being a tier 3 sub, you get a donation deck as well. If you'd like. Boom. And you get the, the sweet foil hype boats. Thanks, Coffee Master. Count that as number five on the day, so that means also gonna be time to crack a pack after this. Alright, so this should be to go get Gates Ablaze. I don't think they're a settle the wreckage kind of deck. So we'll draw five cards. And hopefully our cards in hand, hopefully all these cards can um, be better than our opponent's three cards. Um, so I could have six mana, or if I play Folly, I'd have five mana. Let's go... Shaman Jade Light, Shaman Reaper. Let's go Shaman Reaper. Yeah, usually the Gates player is the one with all the all the cards in hand. Hmm. 
Deck, no, Deckmaster should be working. Should be good to go there. Alright, they're up to eight. They're down to one card. They have infinite lands. But only got one card. So we'll hit him for six. And... We'll just... Just get these gutter bones back. Yeah, I'm counting the upgrade for a pack opening, absolutely. Yep, that's sub number five. We'll be cracking a pack after this. Okay, we're going to game three. After this match, of course. Okay, there you go. Fixed it, nice. Alright, Liliana. See, the problem with playing Liliana is I don't have the suppliers anymore, so I only have, like, the Midnight Reapers and Boulder Hulks. Um, as far as... The plus one, but I guess... Yeah, and that's, that's all I... That's all the minus three would do, also. I could... I could play this... And play those... The three suppliers and take out Glowspore Shamans. I could do that. Is Shama better than Priest? I'm pretty skeptical the Priest is going to actually do stuff. The supplier being a 1 1 doesn't really do anything. Hmm. I kind of like just the 3 power on the Shamans, though. Go two supplier. Three shaman. I. Uh, is it right to say that the most important thing you have to deal with versus gates decks are guild summits? Um, yeah, guild summits like probably like their most powerful overall card uh, with the amount of cards it gets to draw and everything. Um, Hmm. <laughs> okay, a tie wheel. I have to switch ties. That's not a bad idea. That's a good idea. You, you say keep because we have three turns to draw a land. But then even if we draw a land, is like Jade Light and Midnight Reaper defeating a Gates opponent? And like these Molder Hulks are forever away. I like this more. Up the rest next turn. I have a lot of ties. I have a lot, a lot of ties. <laughs> Kept a one lander, did draw a land till turn four and one. Alright, so play I want Playcrafter to kill the Ram, but I'm gonna go and play the Reaper first. Getting a little a little greedy here. We we're taking a hit for five in order to do this, but it does mean that I get to attack a turn earlier. Um or a hit for six. You know, if I just play the Playcrafter, I don't get to start attacking until the next turn, so... We'll go with the Re Reaper first, so we get to draw a card. Turn our Playcrafter into, like, a disinformation campaign, get us that extra card. Hmm. 
I'm a little worried about playing another Midnight Reaper. Honestly. I'm gonna... I think our top card's a land. Dang it, it was not a land. Let's graveyard it. Help out these Molder Hulks. That next card was a land. If we play another Reaper... Uh, Gates of Blaze would deal six to us. It's kind of a lot. <clears throat> yeah, I was, I was going pretty greedy of trying to... Trying to play Shaman, draw a land, and then... Trying to play a Branch Walker, draw a land, and then play a Shaman. Um, Molder Hulk's not, you know, it doesn't help us really against Gates of Blaze, but they could have like a Plaza of Harmony or, or we've seen Gift of Paradise, either of those that like gain three life. All right, we took the Guild Summit and they just drew all the lands. It's most of their deck is land, so like that guild summit was huge. Having the duress with the guild summit is why we won that game. We did it. All right, two and zero with Golgari Graveyard. Let's crack a pack. Branch Walker and Jade Light have been really good for us. Those have been good additions. Let's go Corset twenty nineteen. This one and Ixalan are the two sets that I still need the rares from. What do we got? A spit flame. That's some really good art there. Hey, Olkard, thanks for resubbing there for the sixth month. Continuing that hype. Sub number six for six month. Bum, ba -dum, ba -dum. All right, spit flame. All right, two and zero. Um, my Grixis Legends deck is kind of a Dragon's deck. It has four Nickel Bolas, two niv -Mizzet, three Sarkins. Um, I had a Grixis Dragon's deck last format. I haven't updated anything with it with Ravnica Allegiance at all. Um, that's kind of about it for, for, uh... Dragon decks. Hmm. Yeah, I like dragons. Well, I, I do I do play, yeah, the Skargon Hellkite quite a bit. I know somebody on the YouTube channel um, put that put a comment, uh, one of the videos, I think yesterday, of just that they would like to see a mono-red dragon deck. Yeah, Menagerie would be would be an okay fit. Absolutely. Didn't have didn't really have room for it though. I wanted to keep the curve low and, and everything. I didn't really have extra slots for the top end because the Molder Hulks took them up. Hmm. Let's go Supplier so I can play Crafter next turn. Phoenix. Interesting. Phoenix is bad for us. Um, you know, we have all like the sacrifice stuff here, obviously, but you know, still Chupacabra. Like we, we don't we're not playing exile things, so um Phoenix is certainly bad for us. You know, if it's is it Drake's like I think is it Drake's is a real good matchup for us because Priest of the Forgotten Gods and Playcrafter like those are awesome against Drake's. Phoenix. 
Not so much. I think the priest is, is dying. That's kind of good news for us that our opponent played two spells during our turn, the Radical Idea and the Shock. Um, that, you know, like they're not playing three spells during their turn kind of thing. I guess I want to play Crafter, Sack the Supplier. Oh, I guess I could have maybe played Mulder Hulk this turn if I would have been, if I would have been a little patient. And plus, I shouldn't Branch Walker before sacking the Supplier anyway. So that's just, just not good. Wow. Both are fine finalities. Okay, so we would not have been able to play the Mulder Hulk, but we could have milled Land Priest Find. And then have the other find on top. Need to kill this Chupacabra to make it harder for them to play three spells in a turn. Izareth is an, is a okay card. It's not like wonderful or anything. But it's okay. It's it's pretty tough to go three colors with how low our curve is. You know, like needing like black mana right away. If you go like three like how you're talking about going with Abzan for Tithe Taker, you know, and then like also needing like the white mana on turn two and it's just like it's a huge strain on the mana base. Three color decks like where you need that kind of mana right away is tough. Um, so I choop, kill the Electromancer, attack with everything. They block two things. So now Mulder Hulk will only cost two mana. Play the Hulk. Izareth is better these days that, that Cast Down is, a, is seeing kind of as much play as Lava Coil. Back when like Lava Coil was like the most played removal spell, it was not very good, but it is good against Cast Down. King Tull's saying, I have 15 Mythic Wild Cards and no idea what to use them on. So, is that like, I have no idea what to use them on because there's, you know, like 40 Mythics that I want kind of problem? Or is that like, I have no idea what to use the monk because there's zero mythics I want kind of problem. Because depending on your problem, it may, may not be much of a problem. Oh, too much selection? Oh, that's that's bad. That's the actual problem. Um, I guess I'm just playing Harpooner. I don't know. I feel like our, our opponent had like a real slow hand and stuff. I don't even know if I play Harpooner. I guess Harpooner is good against Crackling Drake. Um, I mean, I could play Duresses, but... You know, whatever. I don't think Duress is too great in this matchup. I want to just kind of do what we did last time, you know, just play a whole lot of creatures and stuff. What am I taking out if I play these Harpooners, though? I'm 
Don't really know anything to take out. Maybe a Midnight Reaper. Yeah, let's take let's take out one Reaper. And a Branch Walker or a Shaman. Or a second Reaper. I'm just gonna take out two Reapers. Um I think us trying to be really fast with the Molder Hulks is like our, our best option. So I, I don't want to take out any Molder Hulks. Um, This is a knowing hand, basic forest. All these suppliers and gutter bones. So I, th I think my plan for turn two is to play priest and hope that on turn three, by turn three, we have another black source where I can go supplier and gutter bones. I'm kind of worried about the Midnight Reaper, like, dealing us some damage, and them, like, you know, because they race with, like, the Phoenixes and stuff like that. No red mana for them. No any mana for us. Yeah, MTG bot's messing up with, like, the... The resubs and stuff. Guess I'm taking the green source to get this Jade Light for sure next turn. But my Harpooner. My harpener. Where's this black mana? We, we do have more black mana than green mana in our deck. Hmm. Hey, there we go. Um... Guess I'm taking the swamp. If I if I attack with like Jade Light and Branch Walker, they get to block with Phoenix, kill one of my creatures, but they get to just get their Phoenix back most likely. Like right away. So like we're basically just not doing anything, like we would just basically be putting the Jade Light into the graveyard. I've, yeah, I've just been playing standard. I, I don't play modern anymore. Alright, finally get this Murmuring Mystic out of here. It's an important one to get out of, get out of there. We don't want that thing just getting a bunch of 1-1s. One -ones. I think we can beat those cards. I think we can beat those. Fortunately, I don't have an untapped black. I can't... I can't play Molder Hulk. 
You can untap black. Um, do I want to just Chupacabra away the Electromancer? No, I could just Chupacabra one of these Phoenixes. Is there anything better to do than just Chupacabra Phoenix? So they, they Electromancer block Glow Spore. Take two, go to nine. I can... Like, Supplier, Molder Hulk, and Gutter Bones, potentially. But then we're taking six. I think we can take six. Do I want Untap Black Source? Maybe I just want Folly, though. Mac Seth. Yeah, I'll just take Folly. Sixth month. Watching mostly modern prepare for GP Calgary. Definitely understandable. But hey, yeah, thanks for coming in, sharing that sixth month milestone. Thank you so much, Mac Seth. Sub number seven on the day. And now, now we have the troop still in, in case they like top deck crackling Drake, for example. All right, do we get there? Yay! That worked out. Cool. Dude, I, I hope so, man. Nice. Got a spicy list. Gonna try to take it down. Dude, I hope so. Dude, yeah, go crush that GP. All right, well, Guard Graveyard's been working out pretty well for us. 3 0. And yeah, I've been liking this. I'm glad we have Branch Walker and Jade Light in here. Um, I feel like our, our deck's been doing pretty good of just having, you know, so many low mana cost cards and we don't. You know, we don't have, like, the, the clunky, expensive cards that can get stuck in our hands. Like Izoni. And stuff like that. See? It's a good hand. Steamer vents. Do I want to lead with Priest on turn two? Priest, then Jade Light, then Shaman Branchwalker. Uh, another Phoenix deck, but their hand is looking better. To be fair, I don't think our opponent, like last opponent, I don't think that they had that great of a hand on turn, like either game one or two. I don't think their hand was really that great. Um... And that certainly, you know, helped us out quite a bit. This opponent looks like they're doing a whole lot better. Unfortunately. Nice, Loria. Perfect time getting off work. If you want to, if if you do like, if you have a bunch of Phoenix players in your area, um, and you like Phoenix is a deck that you're expecting to play against, then um, I think you want the the one mana instant with Undergrowth that exiles creatures. That's the card that you want in this matchup. Like that's the sideboard card you want. Thanks, Dutch. Have a good day at work. A 
let's go to game two. That was a, that was a lot better hand for them there. So I brought in harpooners over reapers. I guess I could play like a couple duresses over these other reapers. I feel like I trimmed something else also. I think maybe I trimmed like one shaman. No, did not trade him a shaman. Maybe a priest. Priest. Play one reaper. I don't know if Harpooner helps out in a ton of matchups. Like, I, th you know, it's it's just kind of, we've been playing against the matchup that Harpooner is good against, but it's basically only Mono Blue and Izzet Drakes. Like, there's not really anything else for Harpooner. <laughs> All right, catch you soon, Dutch. That's unfortunate that your employer is not paying you to watch Twitch. Sounds like you need a new employer. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. All right, good. Three creatures helps out that Molder Hulk. That's what I like to see. Now we're on the play with the fast hand this time. Ah, uh, find finality. That's that's a card I could probably trim some in this matchup. So if I go graveyard, then if I draw a land, I get to play Molder Hulk, or I just keep it and draw this card. I don't want to go graveyard and try to draw, try to get this Molder Hulk. If I don't, yeah, let's go graveyard. If I don't draw the land, then I'm gonna find final, or I'm gonna find and get back Molder Hulk and Supplier and play Supplier and mill over three more. Probably block supplier. So that should help me out for Molder Hulk. Molder Hulk. Ooh. I'm gonna put this gutter bones back in my hand, or I can find and take Harpooner Hulk. The problem with doing the find right away is that my opponent knows that I have a harpooner and can kind of play around it. Um, but they couldn't answer it. All right, great hand that time for us. So can we get a game three? Did I bring in trophy? No. So do I want to? Trim a find. Find was awesome there, but only because we had you know like the suppliers and stuff. And um, I'm trying to find for a duress. I don't know. Priest Reaper. I'll just go with the find. Could be possible that we need to finality away some drakes or something. Put about 10 of 
about 10 of my 40 hour work week on Twitch. Nice, exclusive shot. Yeah, that would be the dream, professional Twitch watcher. And I feel like I'm living the dream of professional magic player, you know? Just being here talking with y'all. Is it a good nine to five? Or, you know, for me, three to seven? We're just gonna kind of curve out mana wise with branch walker into jade light into jade light um oh yeah definitely like some stone temple pilots used to Listen to this album a bunch back in high school. We are kind of stuck on the black mana again. Don't get to cast multiple cards in a turn. Yeah, yeah, mods get viewed, muted because of the music. Uh, but that's why that's why you should watch on YouTube. My YouTube channel, they are not muted. You can see the, the replays of all the decks. They're on YouTube. YouTube.com slash Todd Stevens MTG. I can't do anything about the Twitch VODs. Bacon Bolt, huh? Oh yeah, yep. I mean, I've been streaming for you know three years now, and been muted, been muted since day one. Unfortunately, uh, Liliana, I'm playing it against Esper Control. It's my control card. I don't have a land in the graveyard yet. Hmm. What do I want to do? Do I want to go like Jade Light plus Duress? We're a little away from Molder Hulk. If, I guess I could play Supplier, and if we hit two creatures, we get to uh, Molder Hulk. But if we don't, we're just playing like Jade Light, so we're going like Supplier, Jade Light. Would I rather Duress? Do I need to Duress? That's a lot of it's a lot of creatures, so we can play Molder Hulk, but don't have lands though. Um, I really want to hit land drops because like finality and stuff. I'm going this way. Another beacon bolt. Yeah, I'm gonna need to finality this crackling Drake. Most likely.
Uh, milled over my other find. Hey, Banner. Still haven't found a memorial to get back with the Mulder Hulk. We have, like, a, an overgrown tomb. That's the only land. Let's go Shaman. Molder Hulk, get the Folly. Play the Folly. So now we found Follies. Now I can Folly back. Uh, Ravenous Chupacabra. Um... Kill a Drake. I can't handle these Arc Light Phoenixes, though. Yeah, if they, if they get back Phoenix, I'm dead. They just need a land to be able to do that. They just use Radical Idea first, or like play the land, Radical Idea, whatever they get, Beacon Bolt, and then Phoenix comes back and I'm dead. Wow, they just had a land. I guess they had two lands. Phoenix is tough for me. So we went one and one against Phoenix. I uh, Not so bad, you know, we won. One, uh, four out of the six games, or sorry, three out of the five games. One, three out of five games went one and one against Phoenix. Without having, like, you know, basically anything in our sideboard to help us out here, it's not so bad. No, our opponent was getting two Arc Light Phoenixes back from their graveyard. The Drake was not. The Drake doesn't get weaker. The Drake counts exile also. After that spell resolves, it it goes to exile. Um, and they're getting two phoenixes back. All right, we'll keep this. All good. No, it's a good good question. Um, you know, it's definitely something that you know somebody else like maybe watch on YouTube later might have been wondering. Or somebody else can be one or the same thing, so. Oh, don't be another Phoenix deck. Please be regular Drakes and not Phoenix Drakes. Okay, or Teamer stuff. Alright, Teamer stuff may have some kind of Flash creature that blocks here. Can't really think of anything. dead. Turn three wilderness reclamation. Pretty sure we're dead. Ah. We're very dead. You've been playing against nothing but Drakes and Reclamation decks. That's kind of been us today, too. 
Lots of those. We have enough green sources to be able to play Jade Light and Branch Walker, so I'm getting another black source. Black is usually uh, where we kind of have trouble, but honestly, our, our mana is pretty good here either way. Reclamation is pretty fair. You only get six mana for a Niv Mizzet, and you still have a four mana counter spell. That's that's fair. And you still had a lot of extra mana, also. Um, let's get Liliana up in here. Hey, what's up, Duke? Yeah, I would say my quality of life would be so much higher if um, Reclamation was never printed. Um, let's see. Let's go Priest out. And then this is 64. What else is coming out? I feel like we need to take like threes out. Threes or fours or something. Um, but I, I like Midnight Reaper and Jade Light Ranger and Playcrafter and Sage, but maybe I take out Playcrafter with having the Choops. Um, yeah, that's probably fine. And we'll trim one Choop also. We'll just go to three Choop and maybe trim a Find Finality. And then one more card, a supplier. It's just a 1-1. One, one. Liliana kind of helps us with the milling and stuff too. I guess I guess maybe I shouldn't be cutting the find because of Reclamation Sage. And I was wanting to, to find the Reclamation Sage from our graveyard. Taking the forest, we get to play Jade Light next turn, and we need to find a swamp with the Jade Light so we can get to Liliana. keep that in the library I just kind of was like just in the mode of clicking clicking graveyard but I tried to move my mouse but I was I was too in the mode of just clicking graveyard I kind of wanted to keep that and just play that in branch walker at least we got black mana but still I think I think duress branch walker is a better play so we're Definitely punished. I, I should have kept that to rest there. Into the grave with you. We don't have like tons of zombies, so it's not 
it's not too likely that our our plus ability um, deals damage. <laughs> but of course, the zombie was like the fourth guard there. Um, I just I don't have lands in here, do I? I have like no lands for these Molder Hulks to get. All right, so let's tick up one more time. <laughs> Wait till you see what I've got planned for you. Yet again, our zombie was the fourth card. Yet again. Where we don't make them, you know, we don't get to drain them because it's the fourth card both times. So what Liliana was going to do the next time, the minus three ability, cast zombies from our graveyard, we would have been able to chain Molder Hulks. We would have been, you know, the next turn we're going to be able to play a bunch of Molder Hulks. We'll take one Reaper out, put the supplier back in. Um, <clears throat> what if Reclamation only had affected basic lands? It's pretty interesting. It's probably still playable. Like, these these decks, they could probably still play it. Um, yeah, so, unsure how to get cards to construct standard decks with Arena and everything. Um... Here, maybe this site here. Uh, that's like one page in the in the site, but uh, just toiletdrake.com has like a bunch of different sections about arena stuff. Maybe that can help. Um, they have a lot of information about um, arena and like the new player experience and stuff like that. Hopefully that, that side helps. I kind of want to just keep that on top so I can just play Gutter Bones next turn and have Trophy available. Destroy that. They don't have another wilderness reclamation. So I have, I have the stock stop on their second main. Because I want them to spend the mana on their turn. And I don't mind using the Chupacabra there because we still have another one if they have Niv miss it. Which they do. We still have a, a backup Chup. So we're good to go there. Alright, can we finish this out? Got another. 
Oh, I didn't have the backup Niv Mizzet covered. Did not have the backup Niv Mizzet covered. That was like kind of the worst possible thing to get the lands there. I need the J light to be bigger. Like the two one doesn't like the two one just dies to like their ping effect. Um, I can return the gutter bones to my hand, but that's maybe actually bad for Molder Hulk. Yeah, that was just the worst possible thing. I would have rather had like two spells, especially like creatures, like put those in the graveyard. Do they, have, do they have a frilled mystic in their hand? Even worse than frilled mystic. They kept that card on top really quickly. At least those are countering things that don't kill Niv Mizzet. Like those are, you know, if we find a removal spell for Niv Mizzet. It's pretty unlikely though. I'm only playing three tubes. I think I took out a tube. That's a good card to keep on top. I think I only have one fine found LD in right now. Could just be dead. We had a lo whole lot, but we didn't have enough for the second Niv Mizzet. Yeah, it looks like we're dead, because that, that deals two, that puts us down to ten. Uh, this thing deals three to put us down to eight. Niv is five. Um, their draw step is the six, so like, so they just need any other instance bef before their draw step. And with them drawing all these cards, it's pretty likely they get another instance. Like, I mean, technically, if those are all six of those, if all six of those cards are lands, we're okay. They don't have a single spell on their hand whatsoever. Oh, that's a spell. Um... 
there is uh, mtgarena.pro is a tracker that a lot of people use and say and like. So uh, if you want a tracker, you can check that one out. So we came real close there. Um, you know, a little bit newer to the deck. Maybe maybe I didn't sideboard as well. Like, maybe I need to keep all four Chupacabras in. The second Niv-Mizzet, you know, like, going Wilderness Rec Reclamation into Niv-Mizzet into Niv-Mizzet turns four, five, and six was tough. We had the trophy for the rec for that Reclamation, but honestly, those one fours, those one fours kept our opponent alive. You know, we got them down to three. You know, we almost killed our opponent. Uh, the one fours um, were really good. So real, real close match. I mean, that was just a good game. Um, I don't think that's like a, a problem with our deck or anything. I think that was just a, a good game that our opponent won. Um, nothing in here that I didn't like. Uh, there's nothing that I that you know, like last time whenever we played the deck, I didn't like how we didn't have like the early stuff. But I really liked Branch Branch Walker Jade Light. Um, I mean, I think the the biggest hole is Arclight Phoenix. If I just I don't play against Arclight Phoenix very much. Like I play against it maybe twice a day throughout like you know twenty thirty matches. You know, like maybe. But um, I guess Necrotic Wound. That's the card I'm thinking of. So if Arclight Phoenix does like really pick up and you really want something for Phoenix, uh, that's the card. This is the card for that matchup. Um. But yeah, the, the second Niv, I just, I, I had the first one predicted and I had a good, you know, I had like my plan for the first one and we were good. The second one though, got me. Um, so yeah, Golgari Graveyard was, was, did look pretty good though. I liked it. All right, so if you're watching this video later on on YouTube, of course, don't forget to hit, smash that subscribe button over there. We are doing our um, another 12-hour stream. Uh, whenever, whichever one happens first, we get to 2,000 YouTube subscribers. You know, it's free to subscribe on YouTube. It's just the follow button. Hit the follow over there. Or uh, if we get 10 people to sign up for Quip. We're still sitting at five right now. Uh, Quip is um, a really, really nice, um, affordable, stylish electric toothbrush. The plastic. There's plastic set for $25, a metal set for $40. If you sign up for either one, uh, you get a free donation deck um, if you use my referral link. Um, and usually it's $20 for a donation deck. So for just a little bit more, you can get uh, your toothbrush and also you get your first refill of toothpaste and a new brush head sent to you for free in a three months. Free shipping worldwide. Uh, go through my referral code there that I just put in chat or also you can find it in the YouTube description. Sign up for Quip. But that's it for Golgari Graveyard. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.